Hey guys, I heard a long time ago this cool story about an experiment that somebody did. I think it was in a psychology department or something like that at a university. What they did was they brought in a person and they had these pictures on the table of like three different people and they made up bad things about the people in the pictures. And so, so they escorted this person in and they told the person untrue bad things about the people in the pictures for each one and they they went through that and then they escorted them out and they did a little questionnaire about the people that were in the pictures with with the person and do you know what they found out the people that had been escorted in and told bad untrue things about the people in the pictures didn't feel differently about the people in the pictures. They felt differently about the person who told them those things. Man, this is so instructive for us. Uh, if we're tempted to speak in a negative way about other people, uh, obviously from a moral standpoint, we ought not to do that. We shouldn't talk about people behind their backs. But here's the thing, it doesn't work either. You know, the Bible says in Ephesians 4, 29, let no unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may be may give grace to the, to the hearers. I want to encourage you this morning, if you're tempted to speak negatively about someone, not to do it, not to do it because God commands you not to do it. If you have a critique, uh, meet with that person face to face and share it. If not, don't share it behind the person's back. Man, this is a menace in society and it's a menace sadly within the church as well. Uh, and here's the thing, it doesn't work either. People aren't going to believe you they're just going to think that you're that kind of a person that would talk about somebody behind their back. They're gonna, it's going to come back on you. The poop's going to be on your hands. The stink's going to be about you, not about the other person. Hey, blessings to you. Have a good day.